three-time champion of this event, Lindsay Davenport. And the Wild West applies to tennis too right now in the women's game, Lindsay, because it's a nice mix of talented newcomers and some of the old familiar names who are trying to beat back all those challengers. Well, as you said, Wild West and also Wild Open for all the players. I and mean, we've had three different Grand Slam champions so far this year. And just when it looked like Kim Kleisters was going to dominate the tour, injuries have really taken her out of the game since March. Then we had Lee Knott, the French, Petra Kvitova at Wimbledon. But I think most everyone is excited about the return of Serena Williams. And and back playing on home soil in the U.S. for the first time since the 09 U.S. Open. Well, you mentioned the U.S. Open. Right now, it is the U.S. Open Series, the Olympus U.S. Open Series. This is what we're doing week to week until we get to that final Grand Slam of the year. The U.S. Open Series is, com is a combination of six weeks, 10 tournaments, $40 million in prize money on the line. Now, the players compete for points each week on the U.S. Open Series. And if you win the Olympus U.S. Open Series, you can qualify for a $1 million bonus in prize money at the U.S. Open. Only two players have won the U.S. Open Series and U.S. Open. And do you know who those two were? Yeah, Roger Federer <laughs> and Kim Kleisters. Okay, I just yeah. want to make sure. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> Come on, let's. Well, let's get into today's match because we mentioned some talented newcomers. Sabine Lasicki right away, one of the top talented newcomers. Well, she's just been on fire for the last about two months on the WTA. It started with a big win in Birmingham, continued it at Wimbledon where she got to the semifinals. But it's great to see her back playing well and also confident after a really bad ankle injury took her out of the game for a lot of 2009 of much of 2010, but she has such big weapons, a huge serve, a big forehand. We saw those on display at Wimbledon, and it's great to see her back confident, but also happy. If you see her and our producer, Bob Wiley, says biggest smile in women's <laughs> tennis. Well, she's going to take on Aggie Radvanska. Radvanska sort of floats under the radar. 89 weeks in the top 10. I mean, who knew that? <laughs> she's 14 now, but still, she always seems to be at least in the quarterfinals. Well, she's one of those players that is always in the mix week in and week out. As you said, very consistent. She's got very good looking stroke. She doesn't have a glaring weakness in her game. She's very smart, very crafty player. Really just lacks that big weapon to challenge the top four or five women on the WTA, but certainly a player that all the other players have an eye out every week on. Well, you've sort of given us a breakdown of each player. Now, how do they match up? What do we look for in this quarterfinal between them? Well, a huge advantage goes to Sabine Lasicki in this match because this court here at Stanford is so quick. It's a smaller court as well. It really favors the big hitter. So Radwanska doesn't have as much room to play defense. Also, the second serve of Radwanska. I mean, we saw some of Lasicki's returns at Wimbledon, those huge forehands. Uh, Radwanska has to get a high percentage of first serves in. Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. Radwanska and Lasicki will kick off our quarter final coverage from the Bank of the West Classic in Stanford, California. Lisicki and Radvanska coming up next. Shampoo residue dulling your hair? Get new pure clean from Garnier Fruities.